Hello and welcome to this edition of Prepare to Survive. I'm Kevin Baxter with Pinellas County Communications, and today we're joined by Sally Bishop, the Director of Pinellas County Emergency Management. Sally, thanks very much for joining us today. Pleasure. And we're going to be talking about the Storm Surge Protector web application, which is a new application this year in 2015 for finding out the level of storm surge that could affect your neighborhood. And uh, to start with, really, Sally, how did this come about? What, what was the impetus for putting this application together? Well, besides the fact that the National Hurricane Center has put a great emphasis on storm surge, we came to realize several years ago that our citizens also don't understand storm surge and that that's the reason that we evacuate. So we had been thinking about a way to try to personalize the hazard, and that is truly the hazard here in Pinellas County. And this was the concept that, that we hit on was, how do we show our citizens what their individual hazard of storm surge looks like? So that they would take it personally, so that they would plan for what it is that they need to, to plan for. And so that was the, the genesis for this idea. And, and we've talked about this over the years now. It's been a while since Pinellas County has had any kind of real hurricane impact. We know we haven't had a direct hit here in way longer than a while. But right, 1921. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is something that we worry about complacency from, uh, from the folks in the county who are getting used to the fact that each year goes by and they're not seeing anything. So, so this is really a way to, as you said, drive it home. Well, for those citizens who've lived here and never truly experienced a direct hit from a hurricane because we haven't had one, since 1921, and for those roughly 50,000, 60,000 new people that move in on an annual basis who have no experience with a hurricane, this gives them a way to visualize what it is that we're trying to tell them that they need to be preparing for and why when we order an evacuation, it's important that they heed the warning and if they're in an evacuation zone that's being ordered to, to evacuate, that they actually go. Yeah. Well, so let's get started kind of showing people what this uh, application is all about. So okay. we start out here on the Pinellas County Emergency Management uh, webpage, which is pinellascounty.org slash emergency, which is a good page for everybody to know regardless. And the one point I would, um, uh, the one item of note I would point out here on the beginning is that this works best in uh, Internet Explorer version 9 or above Google Chrome or Firefox. Then they press the accept key and they're ready to enter their address. This is very similar to our evacuation zone lookup called Know Your Zone, mm -hmm. where it's all address based. Which you can also find on that same web page. So you can plug in any address in Pinellas County here, and I notice that it starts to kind of autofill it when you, when you get it to does. that. It does. You generally are not going to get the whole address in before it finds it for you. Mm -hmm. And if there's multiple similar addresses, it'll list them all and you can select the most, whatever the appropriate yeah, if address is. Yeah, north or a south or something correct. like that. So you're going to select your address, the correct address that you find. It's going to bring up what evacuation level that address is actually in. So it kind of does dual duty mm. with our Know Your Zone. It tells you immediately that this address is in a level B evacuation zone. Then the next thing it tells you is that it has three feet of storm surge at that location in a level B evacuation, or mm. it could have. Right. So this is worst case scenario, could have three feet there in a level B, and so that's why it is in a level B evacuation zone um, and would be impacted and, and need to move when we call a level B. But what inter get, gets even more interesting is when you start to move up to the higher evacuation zones, because all of those higher evacuation levels also impact this address. Right. So if we call a C, D, or E, it includes levels A and B in it. So, so as you move up in the evacuation levels, you start to see the and impact surge, is even surge greater. Surge is moving up too. Right, yeah. now we've got six floating. feet of storm surge at this location. Mm -hmm. We move to a level D and we've got 10 feet and a level E, we've got 14 feet and basically the whole house is yeah. nearly underwater. Not, not a good place to be right now. Right, exactly. So that's the beauty of the application is it starts out by showing you in your evacuation level, this is what you should expect and then you can see those higher evacuation levels. But what's also interesting is it shows you, in the top half of the screen, shows you the aerial overhead view of your neighborhood. The dot indicates your home, your address. 
so it could be your business or whatever you've looked up mm -hmm. and you can switch to this neighborhood impact view and then it shows you the storm surge for all of that area around that address so you can you can grasp the fact this isn't just happening to that address this right. is happening to a much larger area yeah. and when you start to see the storm surge height of water around you that location and around you, you you really start to get a feel for the impact for what that storm surge is going to be like so here you see even though here at this address is zero to three feet we just saw on the other screen three mm -hmm. feet now you're seeing around it in the yellow is three to six feet of water and then further down here we've got six to nine feet of water yeah so you know that whole area is being tr impacted and then you can also back out the view so you can see a, lo a much broader scope of an area. Obviously, this is right at the water's edge. Mm -hmm. um, and that means you can't just walk, uh, walk a few feet down the street to your neighbor's house and be, uh, be all set. You're, no, you're and, you can, and you can also change evacuation level here. So we can move up to a level C here. And now we start to see the nine feet or more in red. Mm -hmm. um, and then six to nine is almost on top of that address. And if we jump up to a level D, now we've got nine feet of water at that address. Yeah. So it really gives you a way to visualize, and people really have a hard time visualizing what storm surge is going to be like, where it's going to be, mm -hmm. um, especially for those folks who live inland in the county away from the water's edge. Yeah. They definitely have a hard time um, visualizing what it, what it looks like. Then if you come back to the parcel view, down the left hand side of the screen there's a lot of uh, facts down this side of the screen that I really hope people will take the time to read because it's some really interesting information about storm surge that probably most people don't know mm -hmm. um, it gives information about waves so if you are around along the coast waves the large waves that come in are going to come in three quarters of a mile inland from the shoreline um, and they can add anywhere from three and a half to 16 feet wow. more water on top of the storm surge so for so this is a non-wavy situation right right, here. right. well this this house was along the coast this is probably within that three quarters of a mile yeah. mm -hmm. from the coast so let's say a level d evacuation's got 10 feet of water just of storm surge now it could have up to 16 feet of waves on top of the 10 yeah. feet of water you don't want to be in this location no. or anywhere near it and there's, there's definitely no house uh, that wouldn't be exposed <laughs> that would be exposed at that point if uh, even when you go back to house. the level B evacuation where it shows you three feet of storm surge depth most people don't know that two feet of water can move a car can float a car um, and if it's really moving water if it's got momentum to it it can take you off of your feet you can't stay standing in it those types of things and there are simple things like your electrical outlets are generally only 12 to 16 inches above floor level. Hmm. So 12 to 16 inches of storm surge means that you're going to hit live electrical outlets possibly. These are all different things we wanted to share with our citizens to get them to consider. These are things you don't understand or know about storm surge that we would like you to consider. It's why it's so deadly. It's why we tell people to run from the water and hide from the wind because more people die from storm surge than they do any of the other hazards that come with hurricanes. So this tool we felt like was the best way to arm our citizens in, educating them so they can develop a plan for what they need to do because we want them to know what this hazard specifically is to them. And so you can find this application on pinellascounty.org slash emergency and uh, really that's uh, that's the place where you can find all sorts of preparedness information that's uh, really a one-stop shop and it's a place definitely recommend you check out. Uh, Sally, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on Prepare to Survive. You can watch uh, other preparedness videos on our YouTube channel and again PinellasCounty.org slash emergency for information. Also an email address EMA at PinellasCounty.org if you have any questions and remember Prepare to Survive.